Magnet television. Magnet television. Magnet television. You're watching Magnet television because what else are you going to do? Hi, this is Anara from The Bird and the Bee. Um, I, I can't really say what my all-time favorite song is because I think it changes all the time and it just depends on my mood. Um, but I, I'll say my favorite Christmas so song or holiday song just because that's, um, that we just made a record, a holiday record. And I think my all-time favorite Christmas song is Carol of the Bells. I think there's something that it reminds me of, you know, elementary school choir or junior high choir or something like that. And um, and I always loved that there was like this intensity about it being a holiday song. It kind of had more, um, I don't know, it was like, it was intense. And then also it's secular. So it kind of spoke to everybody. Um, I liked, I liked Christmas. I like a Christmas song where you don't have to say God all the time. Um, uh, that. Princes around the world in a day. I had grown up. I'd grown up um, in a musical house, and we listened to a lot of records. So I had a lot of records that that were very that, that impacted me, and um, and I love them. But I think that, and also I loved Purple Rain. But I feel like there was something about Around the World in a Day by Prince where I felt like it was my record. Like it was something that I found that I enjoyed in a way that other people didn't enjoy. It was like sort of my first secret, my first secret record. Although I know probably tons of people love that record. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I'd say that that's the record that changed my life. It made me realize like how much I love, I loved music. Um, and the, and I think, you know, songwriting too, figuring out like how to, what it, what makes make make what makes a good song? The best concert I ever went to. Well, there's two. One is Prince and the Purple Rain tour, um, just because it was Prince and it was amazing and he's amazing and um, I think it again it was like he was the first artist that I really loved on my own without prompting from my family. Um, but then another one uh, was Ricky Lee Jones came out with a record. Um, this was before it was an acoustic record. I think they were, they were picking up. I can't remember when it was, but I was a teenager. I loved Ricky Lee Jones and it was just a, a show entirely by herself on the stage with a piano and guitars and she just went through all these songs, like some of my favorite songs, and she didn't say a word until before Coolsville. Um, and I found that to be so powerful. And I think she's shy. I think she's, well, I don't know, maybe I'm projecting, but I, I've heard that she gets stage fright. And, um, and so that was kind of the amazing thing. Like, she didn't have to say anything. She just went through these songs and played them and there was this um emotional rawness she was available to all of us um and it was at the wadsworth theater in la and then the prince one was at um was at the forum i don't really think of i mean i know that i have something that's embarrassing i just don't really remember what what it is i know like live television always makes me really embarrassed i think it's because i find that as a performer i i like to engage with the audience and kind of a, 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 a like a friend where if i mess up or if i do something funny or i miss a lyric or i do anything i can kind of talk to them and and we are getting to know each other, but there's something about live TV that it's so quick and it's so scary. <laughs> and um, I don't feel like myself. Um, so I always kind of have a little bit of like, ugh, 
after it's done. Um, but it's still, I mean, it's an amazing thing to get the chance to do. So, and I think it's the thing like live TV too. It's like, you, you don't get that many chances to do it. And so it's hard to get good at it. So I think some people are just good at that sort of stuff. Um, uh, yeah, but you don't get that many chances. So, um, I guess it depends on who you are, but, uh, I've only had a few chances and you get better, but then as you get better, your chances start dwindling. <laughs> so, um, yeah, maybe that's it. I don't know. Hello, this is Anara George, and you're watching Magnet Television. Sine.